All right, welcome to the video. And we're doing another episode of Shadow the Hedgehog, as you can see. So in this episode, uh, I'm going to be doing completely dark route, and then it's at for the very last level where I'll switch it up to the hero route. So, let's start with the beginning. Start with the dark route again. So what's interesting is Let's Play has been in the works for a while. It's just that I, for many reasons, hadn't started it. Such as lack of motivation or in general. Uh, various editing issues. By editing issues, I mean software and the fact that I don't know why my A button is being weird today. It feels off, but whatever. I will try to let that make sure that doesn't affect my gameplay. Boxes are weird. And that's what I'm blaming it on now, the hitbox. This is gonna be a lot of I'm blaming it on something random. Or I'm just blaming it on something that just isn't me. Because obviously I'm a perfect gamer and it's possible to mess for me to mess up. It's just it's a game, totally. That guy right there, whenever I play through the dark mission, I used to miss them every time. I find it interesting how... So, it's pretty obvious that this game is... The enemies are very anti just human in general. So they describe them as parasites and everything, but you know, they're not completely wrong. We are legitimately destroying the earth. It's just like it's sort of a contradiction between the normal Sonic's uh, gameplay wise, because in the original Sonic games, it's this battle of of nature over, you know, machines. And Eggman represents machines and humanity and our destruction of most things. While the nature is defended by, you know, Sonic. Like in the very first game, Sonic was saving the forest creatures being used by Eggman. Anybody who but in my these later my games, enemy. it's different things that are the enemies. Now the humans are good guys somehow, even though we gen in general disrespect nature. 
Anyways, I'm getting way too philosophical about <laughs> Sonic game. But I don't know, it's just how it's just how I feel, man. And oh boy. Attention, oh, thank God I can skip. Um, Sonic stories have gotten interesting over the years because they've become less and less focused on the story, and then they're like, oh, it's for the gameplay. The gameplay isn't even always that good. Example, Sonic Forces, where the story absolutely sucked. It was a major disappointment. But the game, they were like, oh, we're focusing on the gameplay because they spent forever on the new Hedgehog engine. Uh, they spent so long in the engine that there was no real, there was not much gameplay mechanics. And so it came. Working on the Hedgehog engine for so long came at the cost of both the story and the overall gameplay. So I don't know. I can rant on about various things wrong with the Sonic series. I, I'm, as I've explained to my friends, I'm in too deep to stop now. Because I've collected almost every Sonic game. You know, there's some technicalities there in Collective, where I count, you know, collection games like Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic Gems Collection, to count towards that. This is a light speed. That red block is a firework designed to ward off intruders. Um, Watch out. So, you know, it depends on your opinion completely of whether or not I've collected some of these Out games of the because of Gems Collection and Sonic Mega Collection. But I try to play them on the original hardware, and that's what makes it kind of hard to get all these games. Like, there are some that haven't been re-released, like Knuckles Chaotix, or um, Sega Sonic. And those games are just hard to get a hold of. I mean, technically, I could easily emulate them. But I prefer to play on the original hardware. Like, right now, I'm legitimately playing on the... Well, it's supposed to be a GameCube game. But technically, I'm playing it on the Wii. But the Wii runs GameCube games. And I'm using a GameCube controller and everything. So, I'm trying to play this as legitimately as possible. No emulation or anything. Maybe you can ride that light that's flowing upward. But, it's just, you know, it's hard to play these games as legitimate as possible. So close to having five keys, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> Damn it. Stop attacking our animals. There's an entry point for the light speed zone. Another fire. Sorry, I am just focusing whenever I get to these uh, oh. light speed sections. Because, I don't know. I like to see if I can get through them without getting hit at all. I don't know. I guess you could call me a hardcore gamer.
Oh yeah, so something I can talk about. Um, something I learned recently because I never go to the island. I recently had learned that Barnes and Noble is a good place to find board games because me and my brother like to play really big and complicated board games such as Twilight Imperium and um, I didn't realize that Barnes and Noble had such a good selection because I've only been to a Barnes and Noble twice in my life and the other time was just when one of my friends suggested to go and I was like I think my sophomore year of high school these five secret keys and everything and I understand like oh yeah that makes sense like we want to try to get the five secret keys and everything but there's no actual hints or anything about where they may be it's just like oh there are five secret keys in every level figure it out no actual useful hints. Well done, Shadow. And there we go, we destroyed the Is that the core of the Whatever mainframe or something? To the humans is no concern of mine. Yeah, so Gun A rank. I don't remember what I got last time. Oh. Now we're going to diverge from what we did last time. And instead of taking the hero path, we're going to take dark path. Basically, we're just going to keep doing dark until the very last level, and then we're going to do hero, switch it up, so we can get that ending. I'm doing this all so I can unlock the last ending. Um, we're going to play through the last ending, and then we're going to continue doing this series after the last ending because we need to get every single story. Hey, look, it's a I don't know what I'm striving to be for a channel because I'm not going to be a channel that's going to get like 100% engagement all the time. I kind of feel like what I kind of do is be background noise for people. Hey, Shadow. Some black creatures have infiltrated my so, castle. I'd like to go and like I find it interesting that most of them, of where you're basis. fighting against the black arms, that scene is good. But, and this is one of the rare cases where fighting against the black arms is actually a bad thing. Don't go up my robot. What are you doing? Damn it. And the camera on this game sucks, just so everyone knows. Even though it's pretty obvious. You know how these balloons work, right? Then set the float around a set area and then return. If you need to get down, you need to jump off. Alright, and then jump down now. Going down. Good work, Shadow. Three to go. 
I wonder how my robots are doing. Then we zoom on. I don't know what these are actually called. They're, they're just the winged black arms people, I guess. Not people. Winged black arms, I guess. I don't fucking know. Weird gameplay mechanic. Creatures. Does my castle scare you? Damn. Damn it. Damn. Not here. Thank god I just got that. Yeah, now you say don't fall. Those pulsating blobs are some kind of alien spawn. Make sure you don't overlook them. Over there. Well, hopefully they'll provide me with a lantern because I have lost mine. Try going up. Do you have a shadow? Where are you going? The giant lantern is behind you. Ah, that's number three. More of the intruders are getting in now. Move quickly. Do you have any fire? Let me make sure. Yeah, I don't have all the keys. How to get out. Hmm. Huh. Oh, yeah, it's through these walls over here. first playthrough of this stage, I was trying to do the hero mission, and I ended up going all the way through this level. 
uh, basically because I thought, oh, end the level because I couldn't, I couldn't find cheats. Um, it was. Do you have any fire? It was pretty hard because you know you're just given those three doors, but it does absolutely nothing. It doesn't tell you which door is for which mission or anything, so you just kind of have to guess. But hey, I got an A rank. Another Chaos Emerald. Another Chaos Emerald? What are you doing here, Shadow? Doctor, I don't want to fight with you, but I need those Chaos Emeralds. They hold the secret to my... Enough of this nonsense! The Chaos Emeralds oh, yeah. belong to Something me! Something I also learned later on. There's no an expert mode in this game. No. Let me show you the power of my latest, uh. latest creation! Yeah, we probably haven't, but hey, we killed him, and we killed him good. Sorry, Doctor, but that Chaos Emerald is mine. Hmm, <laughs> perfect. There's a boss you can defeat in using the turbo button. You can defeat them in like eight seconds. That's the boss on the pathway towards a neutral ending. Mr. President, there's an emergency. Yeah. What now? And then it seems as if our ground forces yeah. have been able to contain the black arm. But, but apparently enemy yep. reinforcements Central are City. And Central City is being invaded. How? How can this be? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious how this can be. They just explained that they got reinforcements. Now they're taking over Central City. So this one is a timed mission. You're given two choices. It's pretty easy to mess up. Let me share with you a piece of your past. It's filled with nothing but hatred and contempt for the human. Why the hell does he only it's share this? Attempt for the humans. You were the ultimate life form, but the humans feared you oh, yeah, and wanted to destroy you, and they did. Now you must amass revenge on those humans. Well, technically, he's correct. That the humans them. feared Shadow, so they locked him away. Um. It's just kind of weird. Um, they did fear him, and but I don't know why he only shares a small piece when he could explain to him his full past. So this is, in my opinion, one of the hardest levels in the whole game because of the fact that there's a timer 
and it's, it's very easy to mess up and die in this level. Also, I'm not very used to using these alien weapons. I don't know why I decided to do that. But I've already committed to it, so... The thing is, in this level, um, your other option is to suck up the small bombs. To protect the city, basically. And... Your option is to protect the city or destroy the city. And even though protecting the city by sucking up the bombs seems fairly simplistic. Oh good, I invent some bombs. There we go. Alright, so the thing is, I don't even remember the layout that well. This level. But I think I'm going the right way. But like, take for example, there were like a few different path uh, divergences in this level. If you're playing this for the first time, you're gonna probably go down one of the wrong paths. And you're probably gonna miss it because in this level, the layout isn't At last, very revenge. obvious. I had. That was mostly from memory, the fact that I was able to get all of those destroyed. And there are many points in the level where it's just confusing. But, I mean, there's a lot of turning around, especially in the hero mission. Right at grass, now we're going to space. Specifically, the Ark. So, you finally come to realize just how abominable these humans are. It's time to make all final preparations for our ritual. So, he explains that is the Eclipse Cannon. Weapon, able to pierce stars. The Eclipse Cannon is basically a pretty damn powerful stars. weapon. That's right. Revealed that the Eclipse Cannon had a completely different purpose. It was supposed to be for defense. Tomorrow? The reason why it was shut down, taken out of hands, was because the, the humans feared its use. It was able to blow up the whole planet, basically. And anyone. If you have all seven Chaos Emeralds, you can operate it. So now, my objective, I think, is to destroy... I like how this level is the Ark, but there are several levels which take place on the Ark. So... What we need to do is remove the defenses from here. So our other option here would be just to grab Chaos Emeralds, which would be neutral 
one, but it gets us a hero thing, basically. feeling I missed one, but it's too late. Just can't really hop back that easily. I don't think I have any of the teleport things back to the beginning. So let's just hope I got it right. But I'm pretty sure that that was the second one. Yeah. So here's the third one. Now I find it interesting, on the other version of the art, um, you are also destroying defense systems or getting the Chaos Emerald. It's just, it's in the hero section. So no matter what you do, Black Doom is going to try and take you down the arc. It's just, where it happens is different. There we go, and it's destroyed. This is the fun part. The Eclipse Cannon is nearby. Say your prayers, you disgusting humans. So six Chaos Emeralds, they were able to blow up the moon in Sonic Adventure 2. We're at six Perfect. Chaos Emeralds here as well. And... In and for some reason, all it does here is, well, you'll see after this boss. Arc to headquarters! Arc to headquarters! Come in! Come in! Shadow's penetrated the Ark! He's headed toward the control room of the Eclipse Cannon! Come in, Eclipse Cannon! He must be stopped at all costs! Take him out! That's an order! 10-4! Copy that! Very interesting that. You get to listen to him talk about. Oh, you need to kill Shadow. Don't let him escape. Use the pillars in the center to run him down. To the other section. Under attack from the hedgehog, moving into attack position. All right. Energy particle beam cannon, fire. Charging particle beam cannon. All right. Now we can grab some of his cannons. Damn 
There we go. HQ. Whoa! The planet piercing eclipse cannon. There's no escape for you now. E. Well, I did get hit quite a few times because of the spring. We are the Black Arms. We are here to take rule of this planet. Yeah, his speech is interesting because and will result in death. Doesn't really tell you how he's giving the speech. He's not shown to be like in the middle of town. New humans are so pathetic. Damn you. As of today. This planet is mine. You're crazy. We will not. No, we will be It's not surprising. All of the world's leaders who resist. Wh what? Very interesting, like, oh, they're like, oh, we're gonna kill all the world leaders who resist. But, like, they already were doing that. They use six chaos emerald explosion here. Which, you know, they directly go for the White House, of course. It destroys all that city entirely. <laughs> And then it's revealed that somehow the president escaped within that period of time. Sir, are you all right? <sighs> Never mind me. What about the people of Central City? No need to worry, sir. Orders were issued yesterday, and everyone has been evacuated. President at the time. This was 2005. So, was Very it? Good, Commander. Was it Bush? Now what's going on? No. Commander, the invaders Maybe? estimated over a thousand black aliens inbound. They've penetrated our outer perimeter. What? According to reports. Shadow's also been sided with the Black Aliens. Yep, it was Bush. Shadow? I don't believe it. Also, I could have been skipping this the whole time, because it makes no sense that the president's okay in either... in any way you end up here. Because either you're trying to blow up the president's ship, which you blow up the president's ship to end up here, so how does he survive? And you blow up the fucking entirety of Central City in the White House. Terrain gives up. Get him. So, basically, Shoot him. I'm doing the hero mission, so I gotta kill the black arms people, or else it'll annoy Rouge. Stay back. All right, just a little more. Incoming! Come on, men. Familiar terrain gives us the advantage. Don't let Shadow. This is the last stronghold of the human army. Destroy the core of the base, and then this planet will be completely defenseless. Go on. 
Oh, I see something. No, we've only collected four of these. Aliens have broken their way through. They've got to be after the Chaos Emerald that's warehoused in the subterranean abundance. So, I mean, Rouge is correct here in the fact that they're saying, oh, Black Arms must be after the Chaos Emerald. But they're after the Chaos Emerald and destroying this whole place. So, collecting the Chaos Emerald only solves one of the problems. Anyways, back to the chaos Sure seems like gun aren't holding any Death to all who oppose me. See if there's anything around here. Saving that. Cover fire. Stop attacking our allies. This interior base looks like it's under maximum security. You're probably better off grabbing onto the wheel and taking the up. Shadow, hop in. Interesting that you get an extra life. The extra lives are kind of, kind of meaningless at this point because this is the last level. So unless I'm dying a bunch in this level and the boss, it's kind of pointless. All right, just a little more. Fry that sucker. It's also fun to listen to what the gun agents have to say. Is they just spout off random things every few seconds. This is just a weird way to get to the upper area. Like, they could have designed it much better.
then bam, we get to the chaos. We must protect it. So this is just oh, I'm going dark all the way, and then at the last second you switch it up. I will not allow those creatures to take this emerald. Yeah, I didn't do too well, but I still got an A. That's pretty good. Only one Chaos Emerald left. You disobeyed my orders. <laughs> Yeah. Well, oh, I you. told you. No one no tells one me, tells what, me to do. what to do. I need these emeralds to uncover the truth about my past. <laughs> what do you think vermin like you could accomplish on your own? Let me show you. Those who commit mutiny against me will see no mercy. And do not defy me again. I see. I shall put an end to your foolish attempts to defy me, and to your miserable... He's the one behind this terrorist plot. Shadow... It's not exactly terrorist, it's... Oh, damn it. Attacking the body won't do anything. There has to be a weak spot. Be gone! The one attack that's on the ground. Thing is, like, I don't want to waste bullets. I only try and do, you know, try and do the max. So I don't end up wasting them, but I, it's pretty hard to do. And now I can just hold down because for some reason unlimited bullets is the ultimate power. Damn. There we go. You traitor. Do not think that this is over. There. And... Sorry to disappoint, but this is the end. Oh, if only this was the end. B. Yeah, I've... Fucked it up a bit. So now we're back at This Is Who I Am. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. Shadow. This isn't over yet. The Black Arms will rise again. Rise again. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form born to rule all. With the power of these emeralds, I'm going to conquer the universe. This is who I am. <laughs> no more gods, no more graves. 
And that's the end. Conquering the world. Well, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it.